guys it's your more girl and welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back to youtube tuesday guys this is where i talk to small creators about tips and tricks on how to do their filming their editing how we as a small youtuber can grow our channel today we're going to talk about filming and camera so i'm showing you this demonstration here that you don't have to have professional lights like more girl okay so what we're going to do i'm going to show you how we're going to shoot not using a pro camera, not using pro lenses, guys. You know, a lot of YouTubers use this, and is it necessary? Well, yes, yeah, sometimes it is. So if you are a makeup channel, you want to have a DSL camera because you want to zoom in close into your face to do your makeup. But some of us DIYers, is it necessary to have all that expensive equipment? It's nice to have, but not necessary to have. So if you are the small budget, you need to know how to shoot with your iPhone, I'm going to show you how to do it. The only thing, guys, you need is this. All right, guys, this is your more girls. And what did they say? Lights, cameras. Thing you want to do, guys, is when you record on your smartphone, your cell phone, or your Android, is you want to lock in your exposure. And that way, if your light switches from light to dark like this, it will just lock that in here. So I'm going to press on my face here on the camera. And you see that yellow square? You're going to lighten it up a little bit. That's how you just lighten or you darken, okay? So when you get the correct exposure, you stop there. Another thing I want to show you is lighting. Okay, another thing, guys, is your light source is very, very important. It doesn't matter how good your equipment is. If your light source is really dark or if you don't have light, your videos is not going to come out really nice. I see a lot of videos that are very dark. If you don't have professional lights, all you have to do is open up your blinds. You see how I'm getting light from here, the blinds now? Okay, and also what you want to do is if it's too much light, just dial it down. what I do when I talk to the camera as you can see I'm looking directly make sure you always clean off your lens and also look into the lens don't look at the LED guys look at the lens so you don't want to have go in this direction you want to always talk to your audience all right so when I just so what I do is always introduce myself hey guys this is your Morgo coming back to you and whatever the topic is so this is a quick tip on how to actually introduce yourself and your intro See here, I'm using a tripod. A tripod has three legs, but I made it into like three legs together, which is almost like a monopod. So when I go in to do my tablescapes, I go in real slow, and then I pan. And as I pan over each item, I usually hover. So this is how I do my, with a tripod. If you do not have a tripod, you see how I'm holding my um, camera with both hands. I go in close. I discuss what's on the table. Then I'll come over, tilt my camera up to show the glass, pull out. I go up. I go over. just to demonstrate each thing that I'm doing. Show the flowers, keep your hands steady. Show the champagne flutes. And then I'm gonna go back with the votive. And then I'm gonna pull back. Make sure your hands is real steady as you go and bring it close to your body. And then that's how you end it. Okay, guys, so this is my phone. And then what I use here to grip my phone to the tripod, this right here is just a spring back that we use for the selfie stick. So basically, I just clip it on like this. Okay, it has a screw here. And this goes to my tripod. I just screw it here. Make sure it's tight. And with my tripod here, I'm gonna show you at this angle. With my tripod here, I just clip it on. And this is how I use my phone on the tripod. 
Okay, guys, one thing I really want to show you are this light kit that I got. This light is a LED video fill light. This light is awesome. For something to be so small, it is really powerful and has a punch to it. Um, it is 176 PCS. It's LED, and it's an upgrade from the... Um, the one that they had a couple years ago. It does come with a clear diffuser and a yellow diffuser for warm lights. And also the back has a power. Um, you can get a battery for the back of it. It does not come included with it, so the battery is additional. I think the battery might be about $23, but this baby is only $25, guys. It's not bad at all. The next thing I want to show you is my DIY camera setup. This is a setup I do um, when I record for my DIY projects. I put my tripod um, on my countertop and I have my cell phone facing down so you can see a full view of everything that's laid across the countertop. And this way I can show you all the items that I got and the DIYs that I'm about to do. I also have a, a light stand for my LED light. Um, you can get something like this from Amazon as well. They're very inexpensive. I have the light behind the camera pointing towards my objects that I'm about to film. So I like the way this setup is. It's really easy and quick for me to set up. I really like this setup. Okay guys, so that is the end of this demonstration. I'll show you guys a few ways how to film with your iPhone, especially like I said, if you have professional equipment. Um, of course I have DSL and lenses. My lights that I had were strobe lights. They were not, that's why you saw some of that noise and that grain in it, because they're not soft boxes, they are strobe lights. They're not really for filming, they're for taking quick photos. So um, again, I showed you how to sit there and do an intro, how to lock in your exposure, how to do your natural light. I showed you LEDs. I showed you some table decor on how I sort of like paint and maneuver and how I film my table decor. Also how I do my DIY project. So I hope this helped you guys, you know, when you're filming again, like guys, like guys, okay? You know, um, when you do dark videos, people will not stay and watch your videos for long. So again, that little light source that I got was only $23 or $25 from Amazon. The battery is separate. I'll link both of them to there if you're very interested in there. Um, again, a tripod is really cheap. You can find probably at the Goodwill or you can find on Amazon. Um, also a stand for the light so or you could just prop the light up so you could find all kinds of inexpensive ways come on guys we go to home goods and we spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars i see a lot of diyers spend a lot of money at goodwill buying pillows but then i can't really see some of the pillows because it's dark guys it's 25 dollars. a pillow is 25 dollars. invest in something especially a small channels we're trying to get those subscribers we're trying to get those views and when your pictures are dark or they blurred or your content is just not right, they're gonna shut that off. And you're never gonna make that 240,000 minutes and that 4,000 um, watch time hours. So guys, we have to do our best. Another thing I wanna to explain to you um, is when we start our channels, okay, and this is one of my things that I notice, I see a lot of improvement. If you started your channel in like 2016, um, I actually started in 12, a few videos, but I really started in 2016. You should have some type of progress. Your, your video should not look exactly the same from 2016 to 2018. It should be improvement on quality, um, on content, on just speaking anything. You know, sometimes I, you know, talk really fast and sometimes, but I can still see my difference, my tablescapes, my lighting, my placement. There always have to be some type of improvement, guys. So if you want to get those views up, if you want to get that monetization back, we got to improve those videos. So guys, let me know if there's any other type of videos, content you would like to see or any example. I like to show examples rather than say, buy this, get this. I like to show and demonstrate that is how Morgor does it. Because, you know, sometimes it's more layman's term. Is this easier for us to know how things are done? Also, um, someone wants me to do a video on my intro. Um, I did my intro on Keynote. Keynote is just like... Um, using PowerPoint. So if you know how to use PowerPoint or Keynote, that's how I did my intro. Um, I think I would do not the in, in one because I think it was more complicated, but I can do the intro because I think I can do a simple um, video on how I did my intro. So guys, let me know any other things you want to do for YouTube Tuesday. This is your more girl. I am out. Peace and love. This is your more girl. Thanks guys.